assalamu alaikum my name is Fakisha and in this video we will be uh, discussing how to make a, um, a generic board uh, just like uh, Arduino Uno uh, but it will be a single layer board, board and easily made at home so first we will see its schematic then we will see its PCB uh, layout in Proteus and then we will see it from 3D visualizer in Proteus and then we will move on to um, how to um, make it on hardware how to make how i have made my um, uh, board just like uno um, by using at mega 328p so um, first in front of you i have the schematic and we will start our board from this voltage supply so if i show you in a zoom manner so all the supply for my uh, Uno. So actually, this at Mega 328P has a range uh, of working from till 5.5 volts. So it works on 5 volt. So I have made this voltage supply to give it 5 volt. So this is my input. This is uh, a silk connectors. So you can use any um, block input that are. The PCB blocks that are attached on the PCB. I've also given a DC jack uh, to my input source. So these are two inputs. So either I can use the seal connectors or I can use this DC jack for the input. Then I and I have I have the uh, diode which will stop its uh, reverse flow of any voltage or current. So then I have two capacitors over here, uh, and then I have a voltage regulator for the five volt and then we have two more capacitors for the smooth flow of current and then i have this led which will indicate me either the voltage is coming or not so this is the working of the whole voltage supply then we'll move on to the main circuit so our main circuit contains uh arduino um, that is a uh, uno chip that is at mega 328p so uh, this chip contains um, one led um, that has a function of that if we upload a blink program so it has a built-in led that will show us the blink function so it is attached to the pin 13 and it which is attached on the arduino uno that is default pin 13 and which uh, already blinks so here i have used pv5 this pv5 is actually the pin 13 on Arduino uno so then we have the, the all the other ports are for the seal connectors that we can use it to connect any other things so next we have a reset button so this reset works on five volts so i have given this five volt over here so and here i, I will connect uh, a switch so uh, a switch push button so i have this connector still connector over here so that i can use it in pcb easily so if you can see so this five volts will be coming and this will be giving it zero volt because it is grounded so as you can see this inverse symbol this reset will inverse if i give it five volt it will give zero over here if i give it zero volt it will give five volt over here and reset it so we are giving actually five volt all the time so that uh, it is not working it is inversing it to zero but if we will push the button it will give us the reset and there is a circuit for um, here you can see is XDAL1, XDAL2. These are for the crystal input ports. So what does crystal do? Crystal provides the clock signals uh, to this at mega. It depends. It um, shows its speed of working. Uh, at mega 328p has a maximum uh, of uh, 20 megahertz uh, of crystal can be used with it. I am using 16 megahertz in this that like the Arduino Uno um, chip, uh, board uses. 
So here I have crystal. I've connected uh, one uh, capacitor of 22 picofarad over here. That is a non-polar capacitor and 22 picofarad of crystal over here. So this is the crystal circuit. So as we have been done with this um, schematic, next we will move on to our PCB layout. So here uh, you can see the PCB layout for the uh, circuit. Uh, you can see this Atmega 328P chip that is a dip, um, uh, dip connection chip that is through hole. And there, there I have seal connectors attached to it. And this is the power push button. And this is capacitor attached. I've used in such a way that if I want to use this capacitor, then I can uh, for the safety and I cannot also. So this is up to choice if, if you want to use it or not. So uh, there is the LED and this is the register for the LED. It's the 22 ohm register uh, that is attached to PP5. And this is a 10K resistor uh, that is attached to the reset button. And this is uh, this is reset pin one, and this is a VCC on the other end. So this whole side is our voltage supply. So this is our DC jack. This, there was some connection issue. I have connected it rightly, but still it's showing showing uh, me these yellow lines which will not bother me in any PCB. So I have just ignored it because my connections are right. And this is our silk connectors. And then we have a diode and we have two capacitors over here, a voltage regulator of 5 volts, 705. That is a 5 volt voltage regulator. Then we have two, ha two capacitor more and then the LED and a resistor of 22 ohms that indicates that our uh, circuit is working on uh, that our voltage is coming or not so that was it from the pcb side then we will move on to 3d visualizer so here you can see that in um, 3d visualizer how our circuit board will look like so this is our ec jack here are two seal connectors and uh, that is there's a diode this capacitor voltage regulator two leds i'm using uh, so this is our crystal with two peak of our 22 peak of our capacitors and um, as a safety capacitor and this is the blink led so you can see the routing if i correct it see the routing over here and uh, this is a 3d view of our board so now we will move on to the hardware implementation of this whole circuit